with Melissa and guess what we are coming back today with another hey dude DIY video so look at the ones I've got today I'm so excited I found them on Amazon they are the Wally washed hydro and I love this color this is one of my husband's favorite color shirts to wear so I was super excited to pick these ones up I also love the color of the soles of these ones and I just wanted to add a little customization to them because my husband is loving all the little DIYs that I'm making for him and we are obsessed with the Florida Keys and we have gone numerous times and we always want to go back someday we want to have a little cabin in the palm trees there <laughs> by the ocean but anyways I just thought it'd be super fun to have a really cute pair of beach shoes and so I painted these little palm trees on them I did one on each side and I used a stamp today for the first time so if you want to see how I go about DIYing stamped shoes then keep on watching so I've got a couple of other DIY Hey Dude videos up already on my channel and I've got a few questions on there so I'm going to be answering those questions right now. This is acrylic paint. Hold on, my dog needs to go out. You can pick that up at Joann's, Michael's, Walmart craft section and you can also use fabric paint specifically for fabric but I have painted lots and lots of clothes and shoes before with just the regular old acrylic paint and it turns out wonderfully it washes great i would not recommend drying it in the dryer but it's been holding up on my other two pairs that i've done for my husband which i will show you right now they're really dirty because he's been wearing them a lot and apparently i can only show you this one pair because he's wearing the other ones today but this is just the regular acrylic paint it's been to the beach it's been in the snow and it looks perfect the same except for all the dirt um, nothing none of the paint has come off yet I've also washed my clothes like shirts that I've used acrylic paint on in the washing machine and they hold up really well I just hang dry them and the only part that looks pretty worn down is back here and that is because my husband crunches his shoes down and wears them like a mule. <laughs> the other pair that I do not have with me right now also has paint on it, iron on and sew on patches and also I even used hot glue on those ones and those are holding up really well also so if you want to see how those ones turned out and how I did those ones make sure to come over to my channel and see how I did those ones as well. I would highly recommend trying this on a piece of scrap fabric first to make sure you kind of got the hang of how the stamper works but I'm about to show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and here it goes. I think my canvas practice turned out really good. I wanted to practice on a similar material as the Hey Dude, so I think I know how it's going to turn out, and I really love it. The only thing is, with this dark color, I don't know that I want to do the dark brown because I think it's not going to show up as well. So what I did here is just mix it with the brown. Make sure that you put something inside of the shoe to give yourself a nice flat surface. And this is the color that I ended up coming up with. I think it's a really good kind of neutral tannish color in between um, this rubber sole and then also this kind of brown tag. So make sure when you guys are putting the paint on, I'm just going to use the other side of this paintbrush, use something probably like a foam like this and just really carefully put it on because if you get too much on and it goes into the little cracks it's just going to look like a big mess so I have to really carefully get most of it off so it's barely on there and then I'm just going to carefully blot it and also sweep gently over the stamp so you make sure you don't get it into any of the little cracks. And if you do, you can always wash this off and start over again. I'm not even going to dip back in. If I need more paint, I'm just going to use what's barely on the side there where I wiped it off. 
and I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm just going to arrange where I want the stamp to go. I'm actually going to put my fingers in here a little bit too. This is the scary part. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect, so that is why then you use the very tiny little paintbrush. Make sure you don't get too much on there. And then also use this as a guide so you know kind of just to copy what it looks like if you're having a hard time figuring out where the paint is, which this is going to be pretty difficult <laughs> for me right now, but I'm going to make it work. Hopefully. <laughs> This is the first coat of paint. I just kind of freehanded a lot of it after I could like vaguely see where it went. It's definitely not exactly the same, but palm trees are pretty easy to do. Even without the stencils or stamp pads, I think that you could probably just freehand these or even draw them on first with a white colored pencil or just a regular pencil if you were using a light colored shoe. But I'm going to let this first coat dry while I do the second shoe and I'm going to put them both on the outside so people can see them like if he's walking or sitting down and then once the other shoe is done I'm going to touch this one up and try to perfect it a little bit and then they'll be done. I just wanted to share some little problems that I'm having in case this helps anyone. Sometimes the paint is drying up on the paintbrush and so I make sure to wipe it all off and start fresh again otherwise it gets kind of like chunky and it's hard to get the tiny little tips of the trees. And also this is a really cheap paintbrush and <laughs> the top keeps falling off. I'm like trying to write with it kind of like a pencil and my finger like breaks the little gold piece off and it I catch I've caught it every time so far but that could be a huge problem <laughs> if it like rolls down the shoe and leaves like a streak of paint because I don't know if you're gonna be able to get that off unless you really quickly try to take some maybe soapy water to it before it dries on. But those are a couple problems I'm having just in case that's helpful. This shoe is almost dry and now when it's dry you can kind of see these little areas right in here look a little bit not as opaque and also kind of messy so I'm just going to touch up all of those little edges so it looks a little bit more perfect and then let them dry. So I hope you guys liked my Hey Dude DIYs. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I could have done a lot more to these ones, but I feel like the other ones that I did were a pretty loud shoe, so I wanted to just do something kind of simple. 
that he could just get away with, you know, wearing every day. Nobody's going to really see that unless they're really looking at your shoes. It's not flashy and it'll be perfect for the beach. So let me know if you guys are going to try this. You could definitely use any type of stamp or stencil of all different patterns and I think that they turn out really cute. You could use all different colors as well. And if you guys decide to try this, definitely tag me in it on Instagram at naturesglitter underscore mel. And it was great having you stop by. Thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more. The next ones I'm doing are tie-dye and they're for me. So I'm really excited to tie-dye a pair of Hey Dudes next. And make sure that you don't miss that video. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Do you need a